Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Agumi, and today we are here with another statue tutorial, something slightly different today, we are doing a Minecraft YouTuber statue tutorial, something I haven't done in quite a considerable amount of time, so today we are doing Dan TDM, the blue head edition, you may have known that his skin changed recently, and he now has the blue hair on his skin, um, so that's what we're doing today, hopefully you do enjoy, and this is kind of like a re-upload um, from the Frosted Network channel, which is a channel I do on the site as well, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description, I thought I'd upload it here because I know a lot of you guys won't see it on there um, and I thought you guys would enjoy it. I also want to get a bit of feedback. Do you guys want to see more like YouTuber skin statues or um, just stick to like what I'm doing before like Five Nights at Freddy's, Star Wars, Marvel, that kind of thing like films um, or do you want to see some statues thrown in there every so often? So let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and uh, like mix it up a bit and do something different uh, but yeah anyways hopefully you enjoy it and i'll see you in the tutorial okay guys so the blocks you'll need to build this statue are the following you'll need brown wool blue wool never brick yellow wool block of gold cyan wool black wool white stained clay light gray wool stone gray wool light blue wool block of diamond white wool and also a map a map makes your life a tad easier um, and there's no real disadvantage to having it. So as I said in the intro today we are doing Dan TDM. We're doing the version of his skin that has the blue hair, so the more updated recent version, um, compared to the old version that I did on my main channel a while back. Uh, this version is a lot better in my opinion and a lot more detailed, uh, so hopefully you enjoy. And again if you do definitely consider leaving a like. But anyways with that said we're now going to start building and we're going to start on the legs. So the legs are 12 tall by 8 wide, so essentially 12 layers of 8. The first layer, what we're going to start off by doing is placing 8 brown wool. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's one layer. On top of that, we do two more layers of brown wool. So it should be 3 tall, 8 wide. And on top of that, we're going to place 3 layers of blue wool. So again, after this, it will be 6 tall and 8 wide. Okay, so again, should be looking like this. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to. And again, definitely take your time throughout this tutorial, pausing frequently and uh, catching up because it's always good to do so. It means you've less got chance of getting confused and left behind and uh, it will generally make your time a lot, lot better. So anyways, the seventh layer is one never brick, one yellow wool, one block of gold, two never brick, one gold, one yellow, one never brick. The next level is one blue wool, two yellow, two blue, two yellow, one blue. So as you can see, they're like the shin pads. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they're like the things that are on the kneecaps. The next four layers on top of this is just blue wool. And once you've done that, that is the legs complete. So, again, on top of this yellow wall here, it's four layers of blue, so that's three layers so far, and the final layer right here. And as you can see, that is a 12 by 8 rectangle. Now, this is the reason we grabbed a map, and I'll show it to you now. If you go to the floor level, it'll, you'll see, on this case, it's Y5, um, but in your case, it might be slightly different, so bear that in mind. What we can then do is go to the top of the legs here, and in this case, it should be Y17. There you go. In your one, it might be slightly different. So essentially, that guarantees us that this is 12 tall, um, and then for 8 wide, there's no real trick to it, unless you want to do this and like uh, work out the X coordinates, but that's a tad difficult. Um, but yeah, as I said, bear in mind, yours might be slightly different. It might not be Y5 floor level. I believe on PC it's Y4 if you're on super flat. Um, so always check. If you're on PC, press F3. That works just the same. Um, and again, it's just a safe way of ensuring that you're counting correctly, and it saves you from counting, it saves you from having to come to the side and go one, two, three. It just means you whip out a map and you can have a look. So with that tip and trick um, in your knowledge now, you can use it throughout this build and later on to make sure that everything is to the right um, coordinates. But for now, we're going to work on the upper body. So what we're going to do is on the left side and the right side, we're going to place one never brick. Now this is just markers. What we're then going to do is get our white stained clay, which I'm using for the skin tone on this build. And on the left side, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to left using white stained clay. And on the right side, we're going to do the exact same. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 4 white stained clay on the right side, 4 on the left. 
Now, we're not going to work on the arms anymore. That's all we're going to do for now. It's just marking out where the arms start. We'll come back later on in the video and work all that stuff out um, at a later point. But for now, we're going to focus on the body. So, speaking of the body, what we're going to do is in between these two nether bricks here, we're going to place one nether brick, four cyan, one nether brick. On top of that, we're going to place two nether brick, one cyan, one yellow wool, one block of gold, one cyan, two nether brick. On top of this, we're going to place two black wool, four cyan, two black wool. The next layer is three black wool, two cyan, three black wool. On top of this, the next two layers is eight black wool. So again, two layers of eight black wool. And right now, it should be six blocks tall. The next layer is three black wool, one cyan, four black wool. Now on top of this cyan here, what we're going to do is build up one and go to the right one. On top of this, we're going to build up four layers on both ones. So that's one, two, three, four. And on the fourth one, we're going to go two to the left and two to the right. So what this should be here is like a T-shape. This layer here should be six tall. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one here should be five. One, two, three, four, five. And in total, it should be six wide. Then what we're going to do is build the black wall up to the same height. So in this case, it just involves going up four. 4, 5, and on the opposite side again, 4, 4, 5. And it will match up to the same height. As you can see here, that is a 12 by 8 complete, and that is also the upper body complete. Again, to prove, you can see here the floor is Y5. The top of this should be Y29 because it is 24 blocks off the floor. As you can see right there, Y29, our build is correct. Okie dokie. So again, right now it should be 24 blocks tall um, and 8 blocks wide. If you want to pause here, this would be a good opportunity to do so um, and catch up if you need. But for now, what we're going to do is move on to the arms and we're going to work on them. Okay, so what we're going to start off by doing is going over to the left arm over here to this white stained clay that we've already placed down. On top of this, we're going to place a row of white wool. Then we're going to need our light grey and also our stones. We'll grab them onto the hotbar. Next to that, we're going to place one stone, one light grey, and one white wall. On top of this, what we're going to do is place a row of four grey wall. So that's the most difficult part out of the way. Now we're going to mirror this on the other side. So we're going to place on top of the white stained clay from left to right, we place one white wall. Then we need one light grey, one stone, and one white wall. So it's the exact same, just mirrored. On top of that, again, you place four grey wool. And it should look something like this. So essentially, you've got three layers of both hands, each layer being four wide. So as you may or may not know, the arms, again, are 12 tall and four wide. We've done the first three layers. And the next layers are pretty easy, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So all you're going to need for the rest of the layers is black wool and also never brick. So we're going to start again on the left arm, and we're going to do three layers of four black wool. So that's the first, second, and third layer. Then we do a layer of four never brick, and then five layers of black wool to bring it up to the top. So that's the left arm complete. Again, that's a 12 by 4. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. That consists of three layers of white stained clay, the white, grey, and uh, stone combo. And then we've got three layers of black wool, a layer of never brick, and five layers of black wool. Again, for this side, just in case you can't do it, um, it's three layers of black wool, a layer of never brick, and five layers of black wool. That will bring you, again, up to the same height as the rest of the body, and it will give you something that looks like this. So, as you can see, we are making really nice progress now um, with the build, and this is the whole front of the statue complete. What we can now do is focus on going around to the side of the statue and making this 3D. So talking of the sides, what we're going to do now is go around to the left side of the leg and we're going to start working on that. So what we're going to do is of course come to here where the brown wall is and we're going to get our brown wall and we're going to extend it backwards 1, 2, 3. Make sure you extend to the left, not to the right. Otherwise it's going to be backwards and it's going to look a tad weird. Okay, so the side of the legs is 12 by 4, 12 tall, 4 wide. 
However, we've already done this row here, which means we're only placing three blocks on each row, and that will give us our 12 by 4 um, in complete. So what we're going to do, the first layer, of course, is three brown wool. The second and third layer is also the same. And in this case, it's just a case of matching up. So we do three layers of blue wool, a layer of never brick, and then five layers of blue wool. That will bring you up to here, and again, that gives you a 12 by 4 if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. Coming around to the right side now, it's the exact same, it's just mirrored, uh, but I'll talk you guys through it nevertheless. So what we're going to do is from this brown wall here, we're going to expand it backwards, one, two, three, and then two layers on top. On top of that, we're going to do three layers of blue wall, a layer of never brick, and five layers of blue wall. Again, once you've done that, it's a 12 by 4, should look like this. So... As you can see, it's starting to come together a bit more now. What we're going to do is work on the sides of the arms. But before we do that, we have to work on the base of the arms, aka the bottom of the hands. So what we're going to do is come around to the rear of the statue, to this white stained clay here on both hands, and we're going to expand it backwards in the same direction as the legs, three blocks on each one. So one, two, three, one, two, three, you get the idea. If you come below, you'll see it's a four by four square of white stained clay. It should look something like this. And we're going to replicate this on the other side. So we go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. If you come below, you'll notice, again, it's a 4x4 four four square of white stained clay. And uh, that is the base of the hands complete. So this is what it looks like from the side. It's a backwards L, essentially. Um, and again, the same policy applies with the side of the arms as it does the side of the legs. It is a 12x4. However, we have this row here done already, so we're only placing three blocks on each row. So whilst we're here, we might as well work on it. So the first layer, of course, is four white stained clay. Now the next layers, we're going to be working from left to right. So the next layer is one light grey wool, two white wool. The next row is three grey wool. We then have three layers of black wool. We have a layer of never brick. And then five layers of black wool. And that will bring you up to the same height as the uh, front of statue. It will give you a 12 by 4. If you want to pause, this would probably be a good time to do so. Um, and again, just to go over it one more time, we've got the three bottom layers, which is white stained clay, white wool, grey wool. Uh, then we've got three layers of black wool, a layer of never brick, and five layers of black wool. Now again, the other arm, the right arm, is the exact same. So if you want to mirror that, you are more than welcome to do so. However, if you need a bit more assistance, um, then I'm going to talk you guys through it nevertheless. So coming around to the right side, what we're going to do, again working from left to right, is on top of this row here, which is white stained clay, we're going to place three, or in this case two, because we've already got the first block um, complete, of white wool. And then on the far right, we're going to place one light grey. On top of that, we're going to place three grey wool. And then on top, three layers of black wool. On top of this, we're going to place one layer of never brick and then five layers of black wool and that will bring you up to the same height as the front of the body and it should look something like this again good opportunity to pause that is a 12 by 4 and that is the side of our arms so with that said and that done we have now got a 3d statue we've got the front and the sides complete however if you come around to the rear of the statue now you'll notice there is a big gap that's what we're going to work on filling in now so, it's very, very simple. In fact, it's pretty much the exact same as the front, minus a few details. Um, so it shouldn't take too long at all. However, again, feel free to pause um, along the way and catch up whenever you feel is necessary. So, for the back of the legs, this area here, you'll notice we already have two rows. One on the left, one on the right. Now, again, each row, um, there's 12 rows in total. It's a 12 by 8. However, we have the two pillars either side, so we're only placing six blocks in each row to give us the 12 by 8 rectangle. So the first three layers is simply six brown wool. And again, for the legs, it's just a case of matching up which color is at the side. There's no real detail. The next three layers is blue wool. On top of this, we got a row of never brick once I finish placing the blocks. So a row of never brick, that's the seventh layer. So again, three layers of brown wool, three layers of blue wool, a layer of never brick. Then we have five layers of blue wool. And that will bring you to the top of the legs. So again, a 12 by 8. And just go over it one last time. is three layers of brown, three layers of blue, one layer of never brick, and five layers of blue. Each layer being 8 wide, that gives you a 12 by 8 rectangle. 
So moving on up now to the upper body, what we're going to do is place two rows of eight never brick. So that's the first two layers of the body. Then simply all we're going to do is do 10 layers of black wall. Now the easy way to do that is just build up to the same height as the top and build across. Um, and that's kind of like killing two birds with one stone really because you're filling in the shoulders and you're also making sure it's the correct height. So as you can see here, again, I'm just building up roughly to where I think it is, matching it to the front, and I guarantee you, if you've done it correctly, at least the front side correctly, it will match up to the correct height every single time. So you don't even really have to count, but just bear in mind it is 10 high. Um, but again, if you use this method of matching it up, it shouldn't be too difficult. So again, just to go over that, I don't think I really need to, um, but just in case, it's two layers of eight never brick, and then 10 layers of eight black wool. So that is the back of the body and the back of the legs complete. I did say it was easy and I was not lying. Um, so for now, what we're going to do is the back of the arms. So we're going to work on the back of the left arm now. So we're going to come here to the white stained clay, which is of course the first layer. The second layer is one white wall next to light gray here and two light gray. On top of that, we're going to place three gray wall. And then we're going to place three layers of black wall. Now, next to this never brick here is slightly different um, to the front side in the fact that it's got one of those buckles that you see on the shin pads here at the front, um, but it's on the rear. So it's like elbow um, guards, I guess. Is I'm, I'm not like sure of the correct terminology for it, but they're kind of like elbow guards. Um, so what we're going to do is place one yellow wall, and we're going to surround it by gold. And on the right side of this gold block here, we're going to place one never brick just to cap it off. Right here on top of that never brick we're going to place one black wall and on top of that we're going to place four layers of free black wall to bring it to the top and finish it off. So again that's a 12 by 4 Coming over to the right arm it's simply just the same. So we start off at the bottom um, where we need our white wall. So we place one light, uh, light grey wall, two light grey wall, one white wall. On top of that we place three grey wall three layers of black wool and then for this layer here again next to the never brick what we're going to do is place one block of gold next to that next to that we place one yellow wool we surround the yellow with gold and place one never brick to the left side of it it gives you something that looks like this now what you could do if you're a bit like ocd um is you can make it so they're mirrored so it's not like the same I believe on the skin it is actually the same direction they're facing, but if you want to be a bit more OCD and have them facing the opposite way, um, I'm not sure if the front, no the front has them facing inwards, um, so it's a slightly different, but if you want to have them facing away from each other or facing into each other, that's up to you. In fact, I might keep it like this because my OCD is kind of triggering me a bit here um, with them facing the other way from each other. Um, so what we're going to do, again, is place one black wall here, and on top of that, four layers of black wall, and that'll bring you up to the top, and the same height, which looks like this. So again, if you don't have it um, facing the other way, it'll look something like that, where they're facing the same direction, but facing, like, that one's facing away from this one. Um, but again, I'm just going to keep it the other way around, and it'll look like this. So what we're going to do now, before we move on to the head, is we're going to fill in the shoulders. So what we already haven't filled in right here, um, we're going to fill in with black wool. And the shoulders are technically 16 by 4. Uh, we just fill it all in with black wool, minus this row here, which is the sign wall from the front. So once you've done that, that is the body complete. And what we're going to do before we move on to the head is we're going to get rid of our hand real quick, do a quick spin around, give you guys all the opportunities to catch up you would ever need. Um, and then we can get on into the building of the head um, and finishing off this tutorial. So, right here you can see we have got the front of the legs, that is a 12 by 8 Again, feel free to pause whenever you feel appropriate. I'm not going to say it every time, um, because you'll probably get sick of the phrase, feel free to pause. Um, but you understand that whenever you see a good time to pause, is probably the right opportunity. So, this is the front of the body, again 12 by 8 and the front of each arm, which is 12 by 4 Coming around to the left side, we've got the left side of the leg, which is 12 by 4 the left side of the arm, which is 12 by 4. Coming around to the right side, we have the right side of the leg, which is 12 by 4. The right side of the arm, which is again 12 by 4. Coming around to the rear of the statue, we've got the legs, which is 12 by 8. We have the back of the body, which is 12 by 8. And the back of each arm, which is of course 12 by 4. 
For the top, we've got the shoulders, which is 16 by 4, and that is the statue complete so far um, of what we have built. So I'm going to re-gather my arm, stitch it back on, I guess, um, and then we're going to continue, and we're going to move on to the head. So, in total, or in general, should I say, this is very similar so far to the build I made a while ago um, on the main channel. Um, but this is where things kind of get a bit different, kind of change up a bit, and I think, in my opinion, get a bit cooler. Um, so what we're going to need for this head is we're going to need our white stained clay, we're going to need our black wool, our white wool, our cyan and light blue, and then uh, for the goggles we'll need diamond and uh, also black wool, which we've already got. Okay, perfect. So, what we're going to start off by doing is coming to the front of the statue, which is the side that's got the detail on the front of the body, and we're going to go to the top left corner. We're then going to count one, two, three, four, five, and on the fifth block, we're going to place one white stained clay and bring it two forwards. We're then going to go over to the right side, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, on the fifth block, we're going to place white stained clay, bring it two forwards. In between these, there should be a six block gap, so you can go ahead and join these together by going one, two, three, four, five, six, using white stained clay, and on the outer row, we're going to place uh, two white stained clay, then two black wool, and two white stained clay, and that's his mouth. However, once you've done that, that's an 8x2 overhang that you've got at the front side. And what we're going to do is go to the left side now, and we're going to expand it backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Using our white stained clay, we're going to do the exact same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to link them together again, using a 6x2 or an 8x2 in total. Um, and that gives you an 8x8 square, which is the template for the head and what we're going to be building from. So we've got left side, uh, front side, left side, right side, rear side. Um, and then of course the top which we'll do afterwards uh, but for now we're going to work on the front side aka the face so what you should be starting off with for the face is again an 8x2 overhang on the second block of the overhang should be 3 white stained clay 2 black wool, 3 white stained clay on top of this we're going to place a row of 8 white stained clay on top of this we're going to place 1 white stained clay 1 white wool, 1 black wool two white stained clay, one black wool, one white wool, one white stained clay. The next layer is one white stained clay, two white wool, two clay, two wool, one clay. The next row is one cyan wool, six white stained clay, one cyan wool. The next row, which happens to be the sixth row, is one cyan, six light blue, one cyan, the seventh row is four cyan, three uh, light blue, one cyan, and then the eighth and final row is eight cyan. So you just build a solid row across, and it will give you something that looks like this. Now it looks really random, and the hair doesn't really matter at this point, um, purely because it's going to be covered up by the goggles or the glasses, which is what we're going to build now. But for now, it should be looking like this. Um, it's a bit of a random pattern at the front, but you'll see at the sides, it's a bit more symmetrical and makes it look a tad nicer. So talking of the goggles, what we're going to do now is build them. We're not going to waste any time. So on top of the eye, on top of the left eye here, right where there's this two white stained clay, we're going to place two black wool. And we're going to do the exact same on the right side. So right above the eyes, it looks like he's got eyebrows. That looks kind of cool. However, what we're then going to do is in between them, we're going to go up diagonal and place two black wool. On the left side, we're going to go up diagonal to left, up one. On the right side, we go up diagonal to right and up one. And it will give you a W, so like a W shape. On top of this, what we're going to do in the middle is we're going to place two black wool. And it gives you a more established W shape now. And then what we're going to do is link it together and give us two oval shapes. So we place two black wool here, two black wool here, links it all up. And gives you two two by two squares, um, which is where the, I guess, glass of the goggles goes. I'm not sure if it's glass. Uh, but that's where we're going to put the pattern. So, talking of the pattern, what we're going to do, on the left goggle in the bottom right corner and the right goggle in the bottom left, we're going to place one cyan, and diagonal up, so diagonal to left, diagonal to right, we're going to place one diamond block. In the remaining two blocks of each goggle, we're going to place a light blue wall, and that will give you something that looks like this, and that is the goggles complete. Nice and simple, um, and this will be a good time to catch up if you need to do so. So, with that said, that's the front of the face complete. We're now going to move on to the left side of the head, and we're going to work our way around until we meet the other side, and then we'll work and finish it up um, the statue. 
So coming round to the left side, you should be presented something that looks like this. Again, the side of the head is an 8x8, so it's 8 layers of 8 blocks. The first layer, however, what we're going to do is punch out the first four blocks um, that we already have placed, which should be white stained clay, and we're going to replace them with free cyan and one light blue, starting from left to right. The next layer, the second layer, um, is one cyan, one light blue, two cyan, three white stained clay. The next layer is four light blue, one cyan, two white stained clay. The next layer is two cyan, two light blue, one cyan, two white stained clay. The next row is one light blue, one cyan, two light blue, one cyan, two light blue. The next row is one cyan, one light blue, two cyan, one light blue, two cyan. The seventh row, second to last, is one cyan, two light blue, cyan, light blue, two cyan. And the eighth and final row is two cyan, four light blue, and one cyan. Once you've done that, it should look something like this, and that's an 8x8 eight eight square. Um, and I know that was difficult, and I know I kind of rushed through it a bit, um, but it's easier probably to just pause here than listen to me waffle. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do now is replicate this the exact same but mirrored on the other side. So, on the basis you've got the left side complete, we're now going to move around to the right side and again replicate it. This time we're going to be working right to left rather than left to right. So what we're going to do again on the right side is punch out the last four white stained clay blocks here, place three cyan, one light blue. And uh, I think I'll just call it C and LB rather than cyan and light blue. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going to be saying it too much. So anyways, the second layer, again, going from right to left in this case, is C, LB, 2C, and then three white stained clay. The next layer is four LB, one cyan, or one C, two white stained clay. The next layer is 2C. 2LB, 1C, 2 white. The next layer is 1LB, 1C, 2LB, 1C, 2LB. The sixth layer is 1C, 1LB, 2C, 1LB, 2C. The seventh layer is 1C, 2LB, 1C, LB, 2C. And the eighth and final layer is 2C, 4LB, and 1C. That probably sounds like a bit of a uh, waffle or a bit random, um, but hopefully you understand LB, light blue, C, cyan, and of course white, white stained clay. Again, that's an 8x8 square, um, and it's pretty, again, easier if you pause here um, and just replicate it. It's a pretty simple pattern. Uh, at the same time, it could cause some confusion, so it's always easier to just pause. So, coming around to the rear of the statue now, you should be presented with something that looks like this. What we're going to start off by doing is removing these first um, a 6x2 area, and the first layer we're just going to use cyan, and then the second layer we're going to place from left to right, we've got the one cyan here, one LB, two cyan, or what, two C, one LB, and then two C. So, this is like a U shape. The first layer is complete. Remaining seven layers are only placing six blocks per row. So starting bottom left corner again, we're going to place 2C, 2LB, 1C, 1LB. The next layer is 4LB, 1C, 1LB. Next layer is 2LB, 1C, 2LB, 1C. The next layer is 1LB. 2C, 3LB. The sixth layer is 1LB, 3C, 2LB. The seventh layer is 5LB, 1C. And then the eighth and final layer is 3C, 3LB. So that is the rear of the head complete. That's an 8x8. And if you want to pause, again, feel free to do so. So, what we're going to do now is go to the top of the statue, and we're going to go at the front angle, so we come around to the front and we look downwards, and it should look like this. 
What we're going to do is fill this all in using light blue wool. And then we're going to punch the patterns of a cyan, uh, cyan wool. I was about to say cyan stained clay um, into the block. So again, just fill it in with light blue. And what we're going to do is get our cyan and start punching the patterns out. So starting on the bottom left corner, we're going to go to this block here. We go up diagonal to right, punch out, replace with cyan. What we're then going to do is we're going to go to the right side. From this block, we go one, two, three. On the third block, punch out, replace with cyan. We go up to right replace those two blocks we go up diagonal to right up one left one up one replace those four blocks with cyan we're then going to go one to the left leave this block one more replace then we again go one block to the left leave it one block replace and that will connect up diagonally to this block here and once you've done that that's all the patterns complete it's a bit of a random uh, pattern but again it's just uh, to look nice so essentially that is the head complete what we're going to do now is build the strap for the goggles that goes around the side and the back of the head. Again, you don't want to, um, or you don't have to do it, should I say, if you don't want to. Um, but what we're going to do is go around to the left side now, and in line with the bottom block of this two black wall here, so right here, aka the sixth row on the side of the head, so one, two, three, four, five, six. On the sixth row, we're going to place a row of eight black wool all the way across. Um, like so, it's a 3D effect. We then come around to the rear side, again do a row of 8 black wool on the 6th row. But what we don't want to do is place a block in that corner, because it will make it look too square. We want it to be a gap, and these to di uh, connect diagonally. And we go around to the right side again, and we place 8 black wool um, on the 6th row. And that will give you a strap that goes all the way around the head, and links up perfectly back to the front like so. Um, and with that said and done, that is our statue complete. So this is what it looks like, I'll get rid of my arm for one last time, um, and we'll have a little spin around of the head. That's what the statue looks like in its uh, hull, in its completion, um, and yeah, for the head, again I'll do a little spin around. So each side is 8x8, eight eight. this is the front side. We have the left side, the rear side, and the right side. And then last but not least, we have the top of the head. Um, and with that said and done, of course, we have our statue here. Hopefully you have something that looks like this. If you don't, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try and help you as much as possible. Uh, but for yeah, now, this is it. That is the tutorial complete. If you did enjoy, definitely consider leaving a like and subscribe down below to Frosted Network. If you haven't already, check out my main channel. Again, there'll be links to all the director's channels, so mine, Jared Gaming, and also Give Us Gaming's in the description. Again, leave your suggestions down below for the next YouTubers on the channel. I'll try and stick to what you guys like. Uh, I'm trying to get a few of the big guys out of the way first, and then I'll try and like stick to just suggestions. Um, but yeah, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed it again. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name's been Tom Ogomi, and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe. Won't you let the light shine through?